Hello, I'm Saxon564 here with episode 4 of IRC scripting tutorials. So in the last episode I quickly went over how to use the dollar sign 2 and pretty much how to accept multiple line multiple words of input. In this episode we'll be going over variables. So what I'm going to do is I am going to change that to add, simply meaning add variable, and then set. We'll change that to 2, or actually it would have to be percent to an at. It has to look just like that. Otherwise, if it's like that, it's um it's going to be a blank variable and it won't exist and if it's like that then you won't get the actual name in so you have to do it like that and then we'll set what it holds to 3 and then we'll do message chan percent and we pretty much we're going to do the exact same thing but only put that as what's said so if we save that and then we'll do add h Um, let's see here. Oops. Um, well, it didn't echo, right? And we didn't even give it a third variable, but and the variable is set right there in the variables tab so I'm going to be right back and figure out how to fix the echo alright so I have figured it out um, simply we just need for this case we just need to add these square brackets and what the square bracket does is it individualizes each of these so what it ends up doing is it takes that and then takes whatever's in this box this will take whatever is in these square brackets add it to that and then this since it's individualized takes the variable that we've given it and then it'll echo properly so as you can see right there I've already right here I've already tested it and just to show it does in fact work so that's how you can echo that kind of variable um, one thing to take note of when setting a variable is that it is not case sensitive so if we do set variable lowercase set and then set a variable capital S E T and we'll just remove that do that and then if you look here there's only one variable set so it so it's not case sensitive for variable names um it also doesn't matter if you do just a number or anything like that that for those of you who have programmed in like java it's a big change because you don't have to declare the variable first and it is not case sensitive so as i already showed i could just simply do set a variable set one and i haven't really declared it uh, this is always how you set the variable there's no 
you don't have to do whatever you don't have to do an extra command it's simply slash set variable and then what it holds and neither nor do you have to tell it that it it's going to hold integer string or anything like that float double that doesn't matter it i could have that set to 1 and then later on do set percent set uh, h and it it would set it to 1 and then it would set it to h it, so it, that's fairly simple um one thing with that i like to do w when i run multiple scripts is i'll do set and then script name or whatever if i if it has to take the nick of someone then do this um dot script dot and then the actual name of the variable so what it does is if someone says some if someone gives the command it'll take that um okay don't need that or that so what it so it takes whatever they put in and then sets the variable to percent their name the script and what the variable name is that's just a simple way to keep track of what your variables belong to i've run a casino script before an entire irc casino and there was poker blackjack craps and all that and it was always easy to split the variables that way so that's one thing to remember it makes it a lot cleaner when you're running multiple scripts as well it makes it as well as makes it better for you i guess you could say so yeah um there's many things you can do with this with scripts uh variables and it they're pretty much the entire running force of any script without the variables you won't you won't be able to do much as it is so with that said that'll be the it that'll be the end of this tutorial thanks for watching if you enjoyed check out if this is the first one you've seen check out the previous three and the next one will be i think a simple script let me check here um no the next one will be making a how to make a calculator so yeah it would be a simple script and something i haven't done in quite a while but i enjoyed previously so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later bye